Hey all, we're here with the rest of the Swedish invasion. We're here with Matt talking about Hey Princess. How you doing today, Matt? I'm fine. It's a great show. <laughs> well, you know, we were briefly talking about before we were recording that, you know, this is a coming of age story with Hey Princess, but, you know, tell us a little more about it. Yeah, it's about Sweden in the early 90s when I left home in my small village up north in the woods and uh, traveled to Stockholm and started my new life. And I fell in with a lot of hipsters and uh, wanted to, to be desperately to become like them. And uh, well, it's about losing virginity, going to gigs, going to clubs, well, finding new friends, new girlfriends, being dumped, feeling like a badass. Uh, no, not a badass, like an like a ass, I mean, <laughs> yeah, and uh, never, never, ever like a badass, no. and, uh, and then eventually finding true love in the end. And, you know, these types of coming-of-age stories, um, you know, I think you referenced Woody Allen. I mean, he's been a huge influence in how I've enjoyed watching movies, but you're taking it to a new level with your own style. Yeah, I think so. It's really quite this crude, everyone can draw kind of uh, drawings. And I, this is the only way I can draw, and I mean, it serves its purpose. And uh, some people actually have grown to like it. You know, you have to find your own style when it comes to, to novels like this, to graphic novels, and you know, you 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 uh, you pull with what you work. You, you you do what you deal with, and you enjoy what you do. And I, I I love the concept. I love this coming of age story because it's not really told that often, or it's not told very well. And I think you're bringing your own point of view to it. is is really great to see. Thanks. Yeah, I think it's quite fresh in a way that I try to, well, some autobiocomics are about portraying yourself as a victim of circumstance, a victim of, of a bad or even evil outside, but I try, always try to really analyze myself and my behavior and, and um, well, if I'm, if I behave like, um, like, um, how do you say, like a total ass? ass, yeah, then I then I try to show that way as well. You're, you're being true to yourself. Yeah, I'm trying to be. Yeah. And I think that's all the, perhaps the most important part of doing Autobio is being true to yourself. And with everything here, uh, Matt, is there, um, you know, working with, you know, Colbine, working with uh, Simon here at this type of show, um, how have you enjoyed, you know, Top Shelf and, and this, this show? Ah, uh, really enjoyed it. Um, we are, of course, very t very thankful for, to Top Shelf for giving us this shot at America. But um, it's really, the fun thing about being here is that compared to a Swedish show, well, we don't have very much people wearing, running around in suits this way. Only a few manga kids, really. But other, well, except from that, it's really like in that um, Seinfeld episode where Elaine gets a new set of friends, yes. and they have their version of Kramer, their version of George, their version of Jerry. It's a bit like that. You see, you think you see your friends, you spot your friends here and there, but of course it's not them. It's their American equivalences. That's really fun. Well, you know, C2E2 is a, an inaugural convention. It's a it's a great convention here. I'm glad that you're here. But when you close up shop, when you head back to Sweden, um, what are you going to tell your friends about your personal experiences here? I'm going to tell them that um, the convention food is as bad as in Sweden, or even worse. And I will tell them that I um, met Carrie Fisher. Yeah. Now that's amazing. I haven't even met Carrie Fisher yet. So congratulations. Thank you very much. Perhaps you will. I hope so. Yeah. Uh, is there a website that we can go to to see your work or is this all based off of a graphic novel? Uh, I have a few um, pieces of work uh, on, my, um, on my homepage www.matsjohnson.nu or you can go to the Swedish, inv Swedish Invasion blog which is swedishinvasion.blogspot.com I know I'll be tuning in and you know we have a lot of fans from Sweden that really love this type of stuff I really love to promote this type of work and you know I'm glad to have met you Mats and I wish you all the best with the rest of the convention thank you very much you too